Peter, it's interesting to look here uh, at the operational side of things. The government has often talked about whether or not stronger laws are needed, but this is about how police respond on the ground. Is it inadequate as things stand? Oh, most definitely. And we've seen this different tactic this week from Just Stop Oil, where they are walking slowly along the road, thereby obstructing the free passage of traffic. Um, but they're claiming because they're not static, they cannot be arrested. Well, please allow me one moment to read briefly to you from the Highways Act of 1980. And it's a very brief passage, but I would ask you to focus on some of the words that I'll highlight, because I do this because it is my strong contention that the police are misinterpreting the law, thereby not applying it properly, and they should be, and they should be setting legal precedents, getting courageous lawyers, engaging with the CPS and saying, this is how we're interpreting this short passage, and this is why we are arresting people and charging them. It reads very briefly. If a person, without lawful authority or excuse, well, that's a given, in any way willfully obstructs the free passage along a highway. Willfully obstructs the free passage. So that doesn't, that doesn't for me, say that traffic has to be stopped in its entirety. It's about free passage. Mm. And they are willfully obstructing the free passage. We're all familiar with the policing term of a rolling roadblock mm. that they bring in when, say, there's been an accident and they need to move the traffic very slowly. The key word there, block. These protesters are blocking the street. They are willfully obstructing it. And the whole buzzword of significant that the police have got themselves in such a tangle over, well, my legal argument would be they're doing this every day. That in itself is significant. It's interesting, though, that these cases can clearly be made, but the police seem unwilling to make those cases. The police seem like they don't want to have those arguments. They want to go down almost the, 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 the least path of resist, the path of least resistance when it comes to dealing with these protesters. Is that an attitudinal thing or does that come from the top? I think it's probably both. But in both regards, it's shameful. Look at the public disquiet that is being created by these selfish protests, by these people with this enormous sense of entitlement. And as you rightly alluded to, the Prime Minister himself is reported to be furious about this. So we have the public and we have the Prime Minister who are both enraged in great, great numbers. There is the law. Mm. There is how I have suggested it should and could be interpreted with the backing of courageous CPS lawyers. Let's clear the streets, let the traffic move, let people go about their lives and let the economy benefit.